Hello, and welcome to this episode of Raising Digital Kids. I'm Kevin Honeycutt. Thanks for watching. Today I want to talk about cyberbullying. Now a lot of times when we think about bullying, we hearken back to memories in our head of a place like this. Maybe a kid beating up another kid for his lunch money, or some mean girls being mean to some other girls on the swing. And those memories, they can be accurate, and they can inspire a lot of bad feelings in us specifically, but sometimes they can get in the way of us thinking about what bullying looks like in the 21st century. See, in the old days, a fifth grader got beat up on, on the playground, the fifth grader got on the bus and went home and got the night off from the bully. Not anymore. Now, on the way home, your fifth grader gets on the bus and his, his phone vibrates and he gets a text from the bully and he deletes it and he feels bad and he puts it back in his pocket but it vibrates again and it's the bully's henchmen and they're piling on and he gets 26 of these messages before he even gets off the bus and he gets off the bus and he puts it in his pocket and you say how was your day honey and it vibrates again and he can't get away from the bully or she can't get away from the bully what we've got to do as parents is talk to kids talk to kids about what could happen with a cell phone sending messages I always say to my kid, never send anything you'd be embarrassed if the whole world knew about, because the whole world can. I don't want them to be bullies, and I don't want them to get bullied. And it's hard to tell sometimes if your kid is going through something. I like to watch the inner relationship between my kid and his technology. If he pulls out his phone and looks nervous, I wonder what's going on. And I ask a lot of questions. But here's the most important thing I think parents need to remember. If your kids are playing on digital playgrounds, we have to understand those playgrounds. If you're going to let your kid play there, you need to play there. If you're going to let them use Facebook, mom and dad, use Facebook. If your kid's chatting, you should chat. If your kid's texting, find out what texting is about. Because it's hard to mentor a kid if you don't understand the playground. The playground is a fun place, a fun place to grow up and be a kid, but it can be a mean place without mentors, without people on recess duty. Thanks for watching this episode of Raising Digital Kids.